Hi, my name is Camille, and as my mother described, I'm always hungry for love. That's quite accurate, but she can't really put all the blame on me because there's a pretty huge possibility that I turned out this way due to the fact that my parents never paid much attention to me when I was younger, leading up to my teenage years. But before that, leave me a like and smash that subscribe button so you'll never miss an upload from this channel. Unfortunately for me, they both lived like teenagers. Don't get me wrong though, they were still good providers. My dad was a graphic designer, my mom was a novelist. They partied hard. The parties were often held at our home, so when the clock struck 12 and I turned 18, I got out of the house and never looked back. I saved more than enough money because I had been planning to leave home since I was 14. I worked as a babysitter part-time in a fancy Italian restaurant and also made handcrafted hair accessories which I sold to a local store. It also helped a lot that I had a rich friend who gave all her clothes to me every time she cleared a closet for the new fashion season. I sold most of the clothes except for the pieces that I liked. She didn't mind that I sold her clothes, she was relieved that she would not have to worry about where to put clothes that were out of season. So, I didn't have to spend much money on clothes, shoes, accessories, and even makeup. My best friend Shia knew my situation at home and loved helping me. We went to college together and she never grew tired of helping me. I focused on earning my degree, so I rarely partied. However, just before graduation, my best friend begged me to come to a party with her. She used to invite me to freshman parties, but after turning her invitation down about 10 times, she stopped. This will be our first and last party while at college. Please come with me this time. She begged, looking as if she was about to cry. Okay, I replied. We were about to graduate anyway. I didn't have to study for a test or do homework, so I had nothing to worry about. When we arrived at the party, she squealed when she saw her longtime crush, Pump. She turned to me and said, Hey, can you keep Pump's best friend busy? I need to have Pump all to myself. This is my last chance. It's now or never. I looked at her and thought about how most of the money I spent on college was practically from her. How could I say no? Sure. I said and approached him. Hi, I greeted. He turned and looked at me and we were both looked surprised. He looked like my male version. He smiled and introduced himself. Hey, sweetie, you look pretty. I'm Jules. That was the beginning of everything. That night, we talked until most of the guests had left. We talked about everything. It even felt like I knew him all my life. My best friend had to drag me away so that we could go home. We went out every day after that. After a couple months, we decided to make it official. After graduation, I started working. Everything was perfect until I got pregnant. After five months, my belly got really big, and that was when we decided to finally introduce each other to our families. I called my mom, who was really surprised to finally hear from me. I had been sending them postcards and emails to let them know that I was alive. I said that I was coming over with my boyfriend, and she said they'd love to have us, so we booked our flight right away. I rang the doorbell, and my mom opened the door. She looked at me, my belly, and Jules, and fainted. I screamed, and Dad ran to the door. He looked at me, my belly, and Jules, and said, oh no. Jules and I were really confused. It got even crazier when Dad asked, are you Jules? Jules reluctantly answered, yes sir, why? You're twins, Dad shouted. What would you have done if you were in my shoes? Let me know in the comment section. I'll be excited to hear your opinions and what you thought about the video. Also, don't forget to share the video. Like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss an upload from us. See you in the next one. What are you waiting for? The video's over. Come on, go watch another video on the channel. Go, the video is over.